Hey everyone, it's Tristan, and in this video I'm taking a look at a new headphone amplifier. It's by Headamp, and it's called the Pico Power. And this is it right here. It's a very nice portable uh, headphone amplifier. And what they're really billing this is, as is a very powerful amplifier that can drive hard-to-drive headphones. So it can, you know, provide a headphone amplifying power um, very similar to what you would get from a desktop amp, but in a small package. So as you can see, this is it in black. It comes in several different colors. It's made in the USA by Headamp, which is a fairly small company in uh, Virginia, I believe. And um, I just got my hands on this. I was actually on the pre-order list for this. Um, but from what I've heard so far, I really, really like it. It can drive um, pretty much anything you throw at it in terms of uh, what whatever headphones you have. Uh, it drives my uh, Odyssey LCD2 is perfectly fine. And uh, it's got plenty of power. Uh, it takes two 9-volt batteries, which um, are installed here on the back cover. Uh, you just unscrew these or you use a screwdriver, and then you can put two 9-volts in there. And uh, the whole thing is, um, I believe, anodized aluminum. Um, so it's a very nice uh, compact package. Then it also comes with this leather case that you can just put, uh, you know, put your amplifier into like that, and then you're good to go. I'll show you... Um, later in this video how I use this with my setup but this is the box that it comes in and this is the user manual let me read to you kind of what it says here and you can get an idea of uh, what this amp is sort of all about it's got up to 18 volts peak to peak output high output current discrete buffer with hand matched transistors and new old stock current sources uh, three position gain switch Low gain should be used with low in impedance and in-ear headphones and medium gain or high gain for high impedance or hard to drive headphones. Uh, the gain level is indicated by uh, the size of the dot next to the switch position. In terms of batteries, it uses two 9 volt batteries um, and both alkaline and uh, various rechargeable types of batteries can be used. No battery may exceed 10 volts it says. Um, also, you want to use the same kind of batteries. You don't want to mix uh, mix batteries. It's got a three-year warranty. So this is certainly one of the most powerful portable headphone amplifiers to date. And as you heard me read there, it does have three gain positions. Hopefully, you can see that here. So you could see the small dot on the very bottom is low gain. And then medium gain is on the top. And then in the middle is high gain. And then here, let me just flip this on so you can kind of see what it looks like on. Um, that's the obviously the on you know, indicator right there. And then you've got your headphone jack right there. And you can use an adapter if you have uh, headphones that you know are a quarter inch jack. And then here is the input. And so I'll show you in a little bit how I use this with my you know current sort of audiophile portable setup. Um, but you've got here the volume control here, and then this is the on off switch. So it's a great little amp, and in terms of the sound of it, uh, it sounds great. It's almost hard to describe, but it's very unfatiguing to listen to it. It's very natural sounding, uh, makes very musical sounding. All the instruments are um, just very crisp, and throughout the whole range, from bass all the way up to uh, you know the highs, and it doesn't fatigue at all. It's got plenty of power, so you don't ever feel like it's sort of anywhere near giving you any distortion or anything like that on any headphones that I've tried. And because of the different, you know, gain levels, you can also use it with in-ear monitors, you know, very sensitive, uh, very efficient in-ear monitors. Although this amp is really geared more towards hard-to-drive headphones, such as orthodynamic headphones, such as the Odyssey LCD2s that I have, um, and also other headphones too. This can drive higher, higher impedance headphones, such as, you know, Bayer Dynamic uh, DT80s, um, also Sennheiser HD800s, um, you know, headphones like that that are hard to drive. Um, will do very well with this portable amplifier and it's in a very very small you know package so for the price and for the size uh, i really do recommend this this is a great amplifier and i'm very impressed with it you know listening to it for long periods of time i just don't feel like my ears are getting fatigued at all so i think that says something about the sort of output of this amplifier um, it's very pleasing and um, very fun to listen to and I think it provides a nice clean signal as well on the output. You know, I don't know all of the technical specifics of it in terms of what transistors or chips or output stuff was used inside. You know, I just know how it sounds from my own listening tests and um, I really do like it. So let me go ahead and show you how I use this both out and about if I want to bring a sort of audiophile quality setup uh, 
you know, somewhere that I'm going, like if I'm traveling, or also just around the house if I want to be a little bit mobile, um, whether I'm cooking in the kitchen or just you know, hanging out outside or even on my couch. Um, if I want to hear um, sort of an audio file set up and not be tied to my computer or my stereo system or anything like that, um, you know, this is the rig that I will use. So this is how I have my setup for uh, the portable rig that I'm currently using. And I can power pretty much any headphones I have around the house or whatever with this setup. Sounds great for full-size headphones as well as in-ear headphones. But anyway, I've got the uh, iPod. I think it's 5.5 generation. It's an older one, but it's got a real high-quality DAC inside, the Wolfson uh, DAC. Uh, this particular generation of iPod uh, came with uh, you know the Wolfson DAC built in. So I've seen no reason to change that as of yet because I'm quite happy with that. And I play lossless files on this. And then I have this line out dock cable going from the line out of the iPod into the line in jack of the Pico Power amp. And then you've got the, uh, you know, plug your headphones in there. And then right here you can see there's the gain for the uh, Pico Power. And you've got three levels of gain. You've got low, medium and high. I have found even with my um, Odyssey LCD 2s on medium gain, it, you know, it's perfectly fine and plenty of power. And uh, the volume knob only needs to be on, you know, like uh, basically 10 or 11 o'clock, even on the medium gain. So there's plenty of power for the Odyssey LCD 2s. And currently right now, those are the hardest uh, to drive headphones that I have. So this thing sounds great for that. But yeah, um, nice compact setup. As you can see, you know, the Pico, um, the head amp Pico came with this nice kind of leather case. And so I just use this um, rubber band, kind of thick rubber band here uh, to keep all keep it all together. And this is sort of a nice portable rig for me. It fits in a hand and, you know, I can just take this with me. I also have a case that would fit this whole thing that I can protect it with. It's just sort of a, a slip case, you know, that I can put this into. It uh, works quite well and um, it's a nice compact package. So I just wanted to show that to you. So thanks for watching my video. This has been my look of the Headamp Pico Power Amp.